Hey, hey, what's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? What's going on? What's going on? Hey, Chris here, guys. And uh, really quick, I'm headed over to worship right now, and I just wanted to pop on just to share my thoughts, you know, uh, about what's been happening in the USA over the last 24 hours. And uh, I'm curious to, to, to hear where your thoughts may be as well. So I'm driving, so I'm not gonna be looking at the uh, video too long, but I'm, I'm gonna share this, my thoughts on this, what, what, what could be a remedy, and I'm curious to, what, to see what your thoughts are as well. But uh, if you haven't heard, you know, there was, I live in Texas, you know, and there was a shooting, mass shooting yesterday in Texas in El Paso. And uh, I think about 20 people got killed, 26 got injured at a Walmart. And the shooter is actually, uh, from uh, Allen, which is like where I live. I, I, I live in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. And uh, so it's a suburb uh, out here as well. And I woke up this morning to the news of another shooting, mass shooting, back in America again, in uh, Dayton, Ohio. And uh, I guess nine people got killed and 20 got injured at an entertainment district there. I guess it happened about one o'clock in the morning there in Dayton, Ohio. So less than 24 hours, You've had 29 people get killed, you know, and uh, over 46 injured, right? So, now, this is just what we know. Think about it. This is only what we know for as mass shootings in America the last 24 hours. A whole lot more people got killed yesterday, got shot up and everything as well, but we don't know about that, right? We haven't heard about all that. We're just hearing about the big stuff. So, I've shared a lot of my opinions several times in the past, but when these type of tragedies or incidents happen, and what I think the solution is, you know, everybody's going to go back and forth and what the blame and what's the cause for all this. You hear, you know, you hear the word mental health thrown around a lot, but I believe it's a lot deeper in the mental health, and I believe that that uh, this this would never stop unless the remedy that I believe is the only remedy. Because the issue is this, we want to fix everything externally, right? We think the reason is ex external, we think the reason is, is, is physical and everything like that. But I've said this and I'm going to say this until I'm blue in the face, but the remedy, I'm curious to know what your thoughts are. Share your thoughts below, guys. Comment below. But I believe the remedy has and always will be spiritual, you know? Um, and, and when I say spiritual, understand this. I believe the remedy is that if you, if you want this to stop, it's not by taking guns away from people. It's not by, uh, you know, we can, we can the government go and spend like a, a trillion dollars on putting in metal detectors in every single place in America, right? Every single establishment in America, we can, we can put metal detectors, right? And uh, we can go out and hire a, a million more troops and police forces and everybody else, right? But here's the, here's the deal. Here's the reality of the matter. That's not going to stop this stuff from happening. Now, will 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 it prevent more lives from being lost? Yes, right. But it will never prevent it or stop it from happening, right? So how do we prevent it or stop it from happening? It has to be an inside job. What do I mean? It has to be spiritual. Listen, people have to become kingdom citizens. People have to become born again of the Spirit, guys, the Holy Spirit of their Creator. We live in a world where people don't know why they're on planet Earth for. They have no, no, they have no reason for a purpose in life. No, exi they don't know why they're here, you know. And so, when we try to fix things externally with medicine, antidepressant medicine, insanity medicine, whatever they come up with, it's not going to stop. The, it's not going to prevent this from happening. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to stop it from happening unless there's an inside job, you know. Uh, and listen, I, I'm not talking about religion. Let me get that out right now, too. I'm not saying that the whole world needs to become Christians because most people in Christian Christianity are religious. And, and, and religion has caused a lot of issue as well. Let's keep it real. Right? So I ain't saying everybody needs to become Christians. What I'm saying is that people need to become kingdom citizens. There's a vast difference between a Christian and a kingdom citizen. Most Christians are just religious people. No different than the Muslim or the Buddhist or the Jew or anything else, right? Just religious people that want to follow a bunch of rules and regulations and, you know, would, would, would actually do evil in, in, in defense of their religion. I'm talking about becoming a kingdom citizen 
which means that you, you, you're connecting with your father, with the creator through the son. Jesus. Jesus didn't come on planet earth to start a religion. Jesus did not come on planet earth to start Christianity. Jesus came on planet earth to bring the kingdom, kingdom of heaven, to bring the kingdom of God here on earth. And lest people become kingdom citizens, know what they're here on planet earth for, go back to Adam and Eve, go back to becoming sons and daughters of the father. They're going to continue to hurt one another. You know, um, you can't love somebody else if you don't love yourself. And if you don't know who the father is, if you don't have a relationship with the father through the son, you can never receive the Holy Spirit, guys. See, it's not about a religion. Because, you know, people in religion are just as lost as people who are rebellious and don't even know who the father is. Unless you're born of the spirit, my friend, these things will never be prevented. And that's just the truth of the matter, guys. I mean, what are your thoughts? I mean, what do you think? See, I'm to the point now where I'm beyond religion. You know, Jesus didn't come here preaching Christianity. He did not. He came here preaching the kingdom of God, sharing the kingdom of God. You know, religion separates you from the sinners. It separates you from uh, being around sinners. It, it makes you think you, you're an elitist. It makes you, makes you think that you know it all. And that's why people hate religion who are outside of religion, right? Religion is just man's effort, man's effort to find God, man's effort. But they don't have a relationship. They don't know the Father. We need to know the Father, and the only way you know the Father is through the Son. Because once you become a kingdom citizen, you have rights. You become a joint heir. And unless you have that relationship with the Father, you're going to continue to do these type of things that we see happening every single day. Every single day. Every single day. So what's the remedy, y'all? The remedy's always been an inside job. Being born again of the Spirit. Being adopted. Becoming a son or a daughter to your Heavenly Father, to your Creator. Because He created He loves you. He wants to create a relationship with you. And He has so much that He wants to do with you and through you. That religion can never give you that being outside in the world and society can never give you so that's my two cents on this what do you think i'm curious to know what your comments are what do you believe could be a remedy could stop this from happening let me know what your thoughts are guys right, i'm gonna talk to you guys later peace and god bless and like i said here's the deal becoming a kingdom citizen is totally different than becoming a religious person Alright, any questions, comment below. Share this video, guys, as well, and like it, and share your comments below.